Hi everybody. So welcome to episode three, casework. I wanted to show today how we can achieve a nested casework family by integrating four individual components, two panels and two different boxes, and then we'll nest them into one parent family. We'll start by making a basic box family. So we're gonna start by creating a new family. We're going to start with the generic model family because it's easier. We're going to have some reference planes, one on the left and one on the right. I'm going to bring one of these reference planes backward and give this the toe kick. So one of the things I should have done first is swap this family out. So we can swap out this family type by changing the category from a generic model to a casework family. I'm going to give this a equal properties and give this a width parameter. I'm going to draw in a reference plane for the top of the toe kick and I'll give this a parameter for um, toe kick height and we'll give another one for the toe depth. These are generally about four inches tall by three inches deep. I'll draw another reference plane for the top of the box. I'll create another reference plane for the center line of the casework. And this will give us a place to align our door panels to. Let's take a moment to clean up the reference planes. So I'm going to start by locking all of these parameters and then do a little bit of organization. I, mean, I like to have it uh, width, depth, and then height. So what I'm going to do is create a three-quarter inch offset for the face of the casework so we have something to actually place our, so that I have a place to align our um, casework panel to. So the casework panel is going to be aligned to the front here, but I'm going to need to start by creating the geometry um, for the box uh, three-quarters of an inch or that panel thickness less. So I'll just create a reference plane here. I'll go back to our left view. And I'll just go around and start picking lines and locking them as I go. And then I'll trim around. I'll align one side of the geometry to a reference plane and lock it and then do the same to the other side. I'll make these parameters instance based. And I'll start naming the reference planes. So I'll name this one right and I'll give it the right reference. I'll give this one a left reference and call it left. I'll just clean up a couple more reference planes. I'm 
and there's our geometry. So I'm going to save this. And I'll call this box for now. Later on, this will be box generic. Another type of box family that we can create that'll give us a little bit more flexibility, control, and complexity to the family will actually be to create the individual panels that will um, actually be built in the construction of the of the box. So the first thing I'll do is just delete that original box that we created. Um, I'm going to make sure that we name this um, toe front. And looks like we probably have everything that we need. Um, I can actually delete that. So let's start by creating a a left geometry. So I'm going to start this by picking the left. I'm going to create all of these and to lock it. Another one here, another one here. And then I'm going to offset. Three quarters of an inch. Okay. I'm going to select this and I'm going to, well, let's go to the floor plan. And what I'm going to do is select this and then give this a thickness. Boom. Now we got three quarters. Uh, so now I'm going to just mirror it. I'm going to reassociate it to the right and I'm going to go to the right family. I go here, I'm going to hide this. So now we should just have the one that's on the right. Um, so if we select it, we can go to the reference plane and right. Now let's see if, you know, a lot of these sort of constraints should generally stay sticky. Um, so let's do, right, so that one's going to stay uh, 0, 8. That one's going to stay. Um, let's check the height, you know, 3 feet. So, you know, that's one of the sort of benefits of using the reference planes is that when you create the geometries, they kind of stay sticky to it, even though I haven't gone through and locked these. Um, they do sort of stay sticky. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is come across the front. I'm going to hide these. Create another geometry. I'm going to call, I'm going to set this reference plane to toe front. And I'll set the thickness to thickness. Boom. So now we have that one. Now we take a look at this. Generally have these things. It's looking sharp. Now let's create one for the bottom. We will give this, we should have a reference plane for this one, right? No, so um, top of to the top. So let's say we're going to give this the toe top. And for thickness, we will give it. 
So now if we look at this, all right, another thing that I've done in the past is create the top. Uh, so this one should have a top. And now that I think about it, this one shouldn't be locked here. This one should be locked here. Okay. And this one should actually come out to the, um, generally to the front. Alright. That's better. Um, so if we Go to the front here. Your casework, your countertop is going to sit on top. So one way that we can actually make this parametric without having to have a negative number in here is to just add another reference plane. We'll put it in the direction that we want it. can make this a thickness parameter. We just lock it up. All right, so let's assign this a category. So I'm going to go into subcategories. I'll create a new one called Go Kick. Call this one box. Matte box. And we'll give this one matte toe. That should be about it. Uh, if you really wanted to get into higher quality um, modeling, you could um, model in some back supports um, here and here so that um, it could be fastened to the wall. All right, so I'm going to save this as family, we'll call it box. Call this one complex for now. The next step is to create the door panel family. So I'm going to use the same technique. This is generic model. I'm going to call, change it out to casework. 
instead of building forward, we're going to build backwards. And we're going to start off here and move back. This one will become the um, thickness. Um, and so I'm going to call it the depth. Give this a width. Let's create another. Give this a height. This is going to be the center line. Um, you can call it a strong reference and call it the center line. And you can see that this determines the origin. All right, so these panels are not going to be four foot. They might be like two feet. And these guys are going to be 0.75 an inch. And call this one front. Front. Rear. A little bit of cleanup. So generally this is going to be somewhere around, you know, two foot eight and a half inches tall, minus four inches. So let's say it's going to be about two foot four. Okay, so what we're going to do is create this family and we'll keep it off of the um, front. Lock it up. Now for the annotation, I like to use the projection hidden lines. Excellent. If I go into object styles, um, we can certainly create a new object style and add a, um, a swing. Let's take a moment to um, save this. And call this one panel flat. What I'm going to do is start off with a flat panel for the casework door. So I'm going to start with putting up a couple of reference planes here. All right, all of these should be weak reference to no reference. I'll select this, edit, create a new rectangle in there, and be done. I'm then going to, one of the things that we can do for the glass is create a new reference plane right here in the middle. You can set this to equal. 
and we can call this class. So now I can create a new geometry. I can set it to the glass plane. And what I did was hide all of the geometries beforehand, so I just have access to the reference planes. Okay. So now let's take a look at this. I know that, you know, this is going to be like an eighth of an inch piece of glass, so let's say it's, you know, one sixteenth of an inch and minus one sixteenth of an inch. Let's create a new object style for class. Select the glass, give it a material clip, map, glass. All right, so let's check it. Well, okay, so the first problem that I ran into is that I did not lock any of these. So these petals are, are usually going to be only like, you know, two and a half, three, maybe four inches. Uh, for these borders. It's going to be average. Alright, so I'm going to save this as the panel class family. So now that we have all of our component families modeled, we can start to include them or nest them into the parent family. So what, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new family for a casework wall based. And I'm going to um, insert the the component families that we've created. I'm going to rotate these. Go to a 3D view. Okay, so if I double click in here, we can see that we have a whole bunch of type parameters. And I went back and edited some of them to uh, make them consistent all across the board from some of them were instance, but I made them into types again. So I'm going to change these. I'm going to link these into their parent family. Uh, parameters. I'm going to give these some um, um, material parameters. And the reason that I do it this way um, and the reason that I load it all into one view and then I start to associate parameters is because you can oftentimes get a little, uh, you can get some errors when um, you create the, the parent family and you don't associate all of the parameters in each one of the uh, nested or types. So what I'm going to do is go into the family here. And I'm going to create a um, parameter for panel thickness. I'm 
width is going to be the length. Height is going to be actually a new parameter called panel height. The material for glass will be uh, glass. Matte panel. And we're done with the first one. Same thing for the matte panel. Panel thickness. Width becomes length. Height becomes panel height. For the box complex, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add map toe. The thickness is going to become the panel thickness. Width becomes length. Depth becomes depth. Height stays height. Toe depth becomes toe depth. And toe height becomes toe height. And then we'll do the same thing for basic box. So matte box goes to panel. Thickness becomes panel thickness. Okay. Now if we go into our parameters, we can associate some of the, um, the actual parameter uh, materials that we want. So for glass, I'll just choose glass. Um, for matte panel, I'm going to choose, um, you know, something like a birch. So let's go down to wood. I'm going to choose use render appearance. I'm going to go back in here and do the same thing. Um, yep, that's good for glass. And then for the matte toe, um, you know, this can sometimes be a rubber base. Uh, these will just be starting points. And then when we actually have the embedded in the project, it'll, it'll look different. So now what we want to do is associate the panels to one type parameter and the boxes to another type parameter. So if I select the box or the so if I select the panel, I can choose add a parameter for a family type and I'm going to call this panel type. And I will do the same for this one. And then here I'm going to create a new one called box type. And I'll do the same one for this one. So now if we take a look at the parameters here, um, you know, these guys would probably be best under construction. So box type, panel type low. So let's change the box to the box basic. See what happens. So now it swaps out, and then the panel can go to the panel glass, and everything's good. So now we have to locate it into the um, into the family. Um, when it comes to you know setting up these individual um, reference planes, you don't need them. Uh, you can leave them in if they're going to be instance based. That makes a lot of sense. If they're going to be type based. They're really not necessary. The only one that you really need is going to be the center line. Um, and then, you know, sometimes depending on whether these are strong or, uh, or um, 
And sometimes if these are strong or weak references, that can be valuable too. Um, but we're just going to keep them. So I'm going to align here and lock it. And then I'm going to here and lock that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this class family. Lock it. And then lock it. Okay. These two can go away now. They're no longer useful. So now we see that we have a problem here where this is not properly located in elevation. So what we want to do is create a reference plane here and create another one here. And this will represent the toe and the center line of the panel. Create this. This one becomes the toe height. And then the difference here between this height and the toe height is now the panel height. So this panel height is equal to height minus toe height. And you should see it swap out two foot eight. Now if I align this to here, it should be good to go. So let's change this to the length of two feet. The height to two foot eight point five. The depth can be 24 inches, sometimes it's 23 and a half or so, but that can change. I like. I'll move that up. And then the okay. So now let's go back into our 3D view. I'm going to change this box to complex. Okay, so there's our family. And the next thing we can do is load it into our project. So I will create a new project. I'll load it in. It's wall hosted, so it's going to stick you right there. And now with the one type that we have created, we can change out the parameters.